Hello and welcome to another festive create with me video. In today's video I'm going to be making some little napkins for the knives and forks to sit on for our Christmas dinner. I picked up this little stack of fabric from Spotlight. There's five different patterns all in a similar colour scheme. Technically it's called a fat quarter bundle. <laughs> So each piece is about 45 by 52 centimetres. My plan is to keep this really simple. I just want to cut each of these pieces in half and then fold them over and sew the seams. What I thought would be really cute though is when I lay out the cutlery on the napkins to create a little sort of fan at the top and bottom of the napkin, I wanted to cover these rings and then feed the napkin through the ring and then the knives and forks can sit in there as well. I don't know if it's going to go to plan. I have this picture in my head of what it will look like. Hopefully it turns out that way. These rings actually came from a curtain I chopped up for another project and I kept them because I just knew they would come in handy for something. First things first, I'm going to figure out how much fabric I need to cover each of these rings and then see what size I can make the napkins with the fabric that's left over and start cutting and sewing. I just love how this is kind of like opening a little present to myself. <laughs> These fabrics are so cute. I can't wait to see them in full. <laughs> You know, I'll be keeping this for something else later. <laughs> I'll have to show you a close-up of each of these. They are just so gorgeous. Oh, all the wintry Christmas vibes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> to work. So I went along and folded the fabric in half with the right sides facing each other. Then I sewed along that edge, leaving one little gap to be able to flip it the right way around. Now I've just ironed the edges as flat as I can, and I'm going to do two stitches all the way along the edge. And then it's done.
first napkin is done. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I just love the really deep red with this beautiful baby blue and a bit of forest green. They're the perfect size for what I want to use them for. I like the top stitch style of it. It makes it a little bit more rustic and a little bit more country Christmas cottage core vibe. <laughs> it's good. So before I start making the rest of the napkins, I'm actually going to start covering the rings. What I've decided to do is use this green Christmas tree fabric because there wasn't enough fabric of each pattern to then also cover the rings because it would be even smaller than this if I did that. Instead, I'm going to cover all of the rings with this fabric because it complements all of the patterns nicely and it would be a touch of continuity between all of the napkins and make them look like a matching set. Plus, doing it this way gives me a bit of extra fabric if I stuff up doing any of the rings or if any of the napkins go awry. I'm thinking rather than sew the fabric to the rings, I might actually just use my glue gun because it'll be much quicker. And at this point, Christmas is only four days away, so I really need to just crack straight on.
came in shock. <laughs> this literally turned out exactly how I pictured it. From the size of the napkin to the ring positioning, the way it folds really beautifully and fans out. The little ring it even looks a bit like a wreath. It ended up getting these little folds in the fabric that make it kind of textured like a wreath. It also helps that the fabric I chose for the rings is the tree one. <laughs> Considering the rings were salvaged from some really cheap curtains of a previous project, the pack of fabric itself was only, I want to say $20. Where is it? Where's my tag? There it is. <laughs> oh, it doesn't even say. <laughs> anyway, it was about $20, $20, $25 for the pack of fabric, which I have a little bit left over from the material used on the rings. And it only needed a little bit of thread and some hot glue. All in all, this was a really cost-effective project so quick to throw together and these are something that I can keep for many many Christmases to come because they're so gorgeous they're never gonna go out of fashion so I can hang on to these and pull them out every year now I just can't wait to get them out on Christmas night <laughs> they're going to add that perfect little pop of vintage snowy Christmas that I long for I haven't finished making all of them so I need to get on to that I've got a few more days until Christmas but when we have the table all set up for dinner on Christmas Day, I'll take a photo and share it on Instagram. So if you want to see the full set all together laid out for dinner, stay tuned around Christmas Day. But in the meantime, you know the drill. Like a video to feed the creator for a day. Subscribe to support them forever. Until next time, stay creative. Hello. Welcome to... When our car's not in, our neighbour cuts through our carport. Ooh.